Mike, uh, Riley worked very strongly out there to bring back the escape and uh, to pull things off, to try to pull things off for the team today. Uh, just how brutal was that final kick? Uh, it was uh, perfect for me. Um, Riley did great work, but uh, just a stupid crash at the bottom cost us the race. I'm getting pretty frustrated right now. Uh, that's uh, two uh, accidents that uh, were out of our control. We just had really bad luck. But uh, yeah, all I can say is I'm pissed off right now, but hopefully... Uh, there's uh, quite a few more stages left, 13 stages left, so maybe we can do something special, but you know, just utter disappointment after the way the guys rode. For sure. Do you know how that crash happened? I mean, guys, uh, legs were just weak heading into that steep gradient or what? Yeah, I mean, I was actually in really good position, but uh, I think guys are cooked and some guys are there that just uh, cross-eyed. And uh, yeah, one guy took out Sepp Cuss. I tried jumping over Sepp, but uh, Instead, I almost took off his arm. Uh, yeah, uh, it yeah. sucks. Or did you come down? Are you okay? Yeah, I fell down, but I, I like didn't get hurt. I just, I actually, I fell down just because I tried to stay clipped in because I wanted to keep on going. I took the risk, but uh, yeah, I didn't go down. Bad, not hurt. Mike, the third time will be the charm. Ha! Huh, I hope so. Jack, you're ripping it up there on some steep gradients, also avoiding the crash, uh, importantly at the base of that 4K climb. You, how did you find the legs and how did you find that climb? Uh, to be honest, I was feeling really good during the stage and then I maybe went through a period there where we had the bonus sprint and we went that small road and I was starting to doubt myself a little bit there. I was like, oh, maybe I'm not so good. But uh, as soon as we started the climb, I started a little bit far back and I was actually behind, uh, I think it was Sepp that crashed. Yeah. And uh, then uh, I was with Carlos Rodriguez and he kind of paced me back to the front group of maybe seven or eight there. Then, uh, yeah, we went into sort of some attacking from uh, Primos. I tried to do a little bit of work there to help uh, Antonio limit the losses. And then, yeah, this final steep part here was uh, pretty gnarly. But, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how things are going. Things seem to have progressed quite a bit from Tour de France, which is nice. And on that steep climb like that, we're always going to see Primos riding ahead. And he did, and he won the stage. Uh, Ben O'Connor limited the losses pretty well, but I think we all kind of would imagine he would lose time on these stages. He just needs to manage himself over the next two weeks if he wants to have a shot. Is that correct? Absolutely. I think uh, Ben just needs to keep doing what he's doing. Like, he's got four and a half minutes to play with. The worst thing that can happen is him explode and lose that in one day, whereas now if he keeps losing 30 seconds, 20 seconds a minute, he can do this quite often, and then, uh, yeah, he can play for the jersey and definitely the podium. Jack, great ride. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Probably things didn't work out well for Mike and the team in that final kicker, but you did your job out there today. That was an impressive pull by you to really bring that break into check. Where did you find those legs? Um, I'm not really sure. I think uh, the lack of uh, having legs the, the last week, you know, is kind of maybe I still have something in the tank there, you know, and it came out today. Just the heat's been uh, kicking my butt, trying to adapt and. Uh, yeah, today finally felt like I had some type of comfort there. Maybe it's because uh, it's a little super arid and like Colorado yeah. back home. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be happy with it and hope I can uh, feel similar for tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm assuming now you're almost at that threshold or past that threshold of the longest stage race you've ever done. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, 10 days is the longest I've done. I toured 11 here like five years ago, though. So uh, it's been a while. So. Yeah, I'm getting past that threshold, but for sure in the, in the kilometers, I'm, I'm already there. <laughs> so this Volta, is, what would you say? I mean, because it seems pretty exciting for people watching at home, the Ben O'Connor, the Primus Roglic back and forth, and kind of the unknown of what Ben O'Connor will do. How do you find it? Oh, it's super dynamic. It's, it's, it's super interesting, especially with O'Connor now. Like, the gap he had um, was uh, pretty impressive just a few days ago. And, uh, no, it's cool to see. I think uh, this Grand Tour, you know, it's not just one guy off the front. I think there's uh, a little more dynamic, and I think uh, this next week after the rest day, some uh, some bombs will be dropped. <laughs> thanks, Ryan. <laughs> no, thanks. Good job.